Hey guys, this is me Gajanand and you are watching Tegrutron C. Today we will see PayPal payment integration in Codeigniter uh, in a simple way. So before to write a code, uh, let me show you a quick demo and then we will write a code. So here is my sample shop and uh, there is a two items, two products, new Apple iPhone 12 and Samsung Galaxy M51. So let me uh, pay this 700. Uh, USD Y PayPal and uh, its price is 250 USD uh, Y PayPal right you can pay so let me click uh, to pay Y PayPal it will redirect you uh, to uh, official uh, website of a PayPal and its price is uh, 700 USD and uh, you can test it so currently I'm using a sandbox so I'm not uh, making a payment because I uh, I've already uh, uh, tested so once you have a uh, successfully paid right uh, uh, to 700 it will uh, store your data uh, your transaction data in a database so let me show you localhost which we might mean and uh, this is a payment gateway and here, here is a two tables payments and products so payments is this one once you have a uh, completed or uh, transaction it will store the payment id user id product id transaction id process gross currency code pay, pay email or payment status all the information will be here right so uh, okay and if you cancel this uh, let me cancel and return to the shop uh, you can uh, see the payment has uh, cancelled okay so it's working fine right so let's create a project and uh, build this application uh, for PayPal integration okay so go to my PC this PC C drive uh, exempt ST doc and here you need to create a project right so already have a project which is a PayPal you can give any name and uh, here is the code igniter if you don't know how to download you can download from here PayPal uh, sorry code igniter and uh, if you want to test this transaction so you can create your sandbox account PayPal developers developer and you can create a sandbox account from here right so already i have a so, so i'm not downloading it again so this is PayPal. so uh, what you have to do first first uh, you need to configure your uh, um, config file like this you have to change your base url right and base url simply this url uh, which is this one which is this url you can copy and paste it here like this and next thing you need to configure your database so let's open and drop it here and you can change your database right my host name is uh, your local host uh, username is root and password is blank and uh, database name is payment gateway and payment gateway is here payment gateway right so two things we have done and uh, then we have to create a uh, one more file in a config just config right application config and here is the config file pay pal library underscore config dot php this this file is very important let's take and drop it here guys i want to tell you uh, something very important uh, the source code uh, will be available in the video description so you don't need to write a uh, line by line and uh, right so just simply go through the link and you can download the source code okay so come to the our uh, tutorial so PayPal library underscore config dot php and here is you can uh, uh, change sandbox to sandbox is true if you want to make it a uh, false like this it will redirect you to uh, here let me refresh and click it here it will redirect you to a uh, live PayPal right so when you pay uh, uh, it will goes to 
uh, it will uh, debited your account right okay so this is a business email and business email is simply your paypal uh, email id right so this is my paypal email id uh, you can change to your right and uh, rest of things uh, you don't need to change right so let's close this one okay close this one so config uh, version we have a done uh, and then uh, we need to show uh, products right we need to show products uh, from a database and with prices so let me uh, here controller and you need to create a controller which is a product product products.php so let's take it here and drop it here so this is a product uh, controller and simply i will loaded the paper library right uh, uh, i'll uh, sh show you in a minute uh, paper library in a library folder which is this one uh, libraries and here is a paper library right and uh, i have uh, loaded my model a model and model i will show you in a minute this product model as well right and here is index to load index view here and uh, here is the uh, products from database and uh, this is data and data if you don't know how to uh, page uh, write a query and fetch a, a data uh, from database you can check out my previous video if you don't know right and here is the buy now button when we click buy right uh, it will uh, send uh, some informations like a logo item name notify url cancel url item number custom and uh, price amount right and then uh, paper library paper auto form so this is pretty much we have done then uh, let me show you when we click to this button right so this is uh, now view right this is button so let me show you a view of our uh, uh, products and here is the view index.php let's take it here and drop it here so here is simply a product name and this is all uh, is coming from a database product name product price and here is the uh, button which is uh, pay by Apple and uh, this is uh, a controller products and this is method and we have passed one parameter which is product id and simply a uh, border bottom for showing this line which is this one okay so product we have a uh, scene so now let me show when we click this link uh, it will redirect to uh, uh, PayPal page so for that we need to create a one more controller controller and controller is PayPal.php so let's drag it here and drop it here so this is a paypal and all the things means uh, when we uh, success the payment it will store uh, it will store data uh, it will store data in a database right and uh, transaction uh, number transaction id transaction amount currency code status everything success or fail and if you cancel it will cancel uh, it will uh, redirect you to a cancel page uh, cancel view right and this is instant payment notification ipn okay so if a payment is successfully right it will uh, insert the transaction in a database so let me show you the models of a uh, product so here is the model mm, where it is con models and here is a product uh, products model yeah so here is simply just uh, uh, just for um, just for inserting your transaction uh, data in a database simply write a code we are selecting a data uh, id name and price um, from products and uh, we are uh, putting uh, the transaction into uh, um, into uh, uh into transaction table uh, which is here 
let me show you um, uh, products yeah payments payments table sorry uh, here insert query payments and the data whatever data it will be uh, coming from okay so this is a product model this controller okay so last thing we have to see uh, which is a uh, library library is papal underscore library and this is third party library okay so you can download from a link uh, in a description so using this library we can uh, set our payment uh, papal payment gateway in uh, our code igniter right so all the code is available in the video description you can go through the link and you can download all the source code so guys pretty much we have a done uh, a paypal payment integration uh, in a code igniter and if you still have any questions and doubt you can ask uh, after review uh, my code okay so let me know what you think about this and uh, thanks for watching bye bye